Hey friends, welcome to my channel Dental Edge. I'm Dr. Bhanachuk. I have started an exam series in which I'll be covering important topics of oral pathology. The purpose of this video is to help you identify topics that have been asked in previous examination. This does not mean something else cannot be asked, but the probability of these topics to be asked is much more than the others. Today in this video, I'll be covering important topics from a very commonly asked chapter, diseases of bone and joints. Also, if this is your first time here and you want to learn dental topics in a very simplified manner, do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss anything. So now let's get started with today's topic that is diseases of bone and joints. In this chapter, you can be asked to classify fibro-osseous lesions of jaw or enumerate fibro-osseous lesions. Then you can be asked to classify bone disorders of face and jaw. One of the most commonly asked question from this chapter is about fibrous dysplasia. You should know its etiology, clinical features, types, radiographic features, oral manifestations, histopathologic features, laboratory findings, differential diagnosis, treatment and prognosis. So it is a very commonly asked question. You can be also asked to particularly write about a type of fibrous dysplasia that is monostotic fibrous dysplasia. Another common question from this chapter is Paget's disease of bone. The other name for this is Ostitis deformans. You should know this name since you can also be asked to write about Ostitis deformans. Then you can be asked to write about cherubism. In cherubism, you can also be asked to write about its oral manifestations. Then osteogenesis imperfecta, cledocranial dysplasia, trisomy 21 or Down syndrome, cementoblastoma or true cementoma. And sometimes you can be asked to write about serum investigations done in bone disorders. Now there are few topics on which you are usually not asked to write in examination but you should know a little brief or important points since they can be asked as part of MCQ or VIVA or fill up the blanks. These are you should know what are the important features of Treacher's Collins syndrome, Pierre Robin syndrome, osteopetrosis you can be asked what is the other name so it's marble bone disease or Elber Schonberg disease, Hand Schuller Christian disease. And you should know what is TMJ ankylosis or what is the common cause for TMJ ankylosis. But in this chapter, the two most important topics as I already told you are fibrous dysplasia and Paget's disease of bone. The slide from the chapter bone is usually kept from either one of these, either fibrous dysplasia or Paget's disease. So you should know the histopathology very nicely. There can be multiple viva questions from other parts as well as histopathology. For example, you can be asked where do you see cafe highlight spots? Then uh, where do you see Chinese pattern or C-shaped characters? Where do you see mosaic pattern or jigsaw pattern? So read these two topics thoroughly. So friends, we are done with important topics from diseases of bone and joints. In the next video, I'll be covering important topics from diseases of blood and blood forming organs. Also, I have already covered important topics from 15 chapters as you can see on the screen. I am mentioning the link below in the description box as well as here up on the screen. You can check them as well. Also friends, it takes lots of effort to make such videos. Your one like can give me lots of encouragement. So do like, subscribe, share and keep watching. Thank you.